Hello. Took me all of about uh, five minutes to completely reassemble uh, this Lomography Petzval. This is Yelena Brasia. That's Russian for Maiden Russia, Mother Russia. <laughs> um, here it is. That's uh, this, by the way, is not uh, brass plated. It is solid brass. The entire body, the lens cap, and uh, the plate. Uh, I wanted to actually show you uh, the throw on this particular lens. The throw, obviously, is a distance that needs to be traveled between uh, closest to infinity, and here's the throw. So if you're wondering, I've actually had a couple questions as far. Well, you know, what's, what about uh, focusing it? I mean, is it very different? Well, there's infinity, and there's closest focus. Very simple, huh? Sorry, let me uh, a little parched. I've had a drink of uh, Kentucky crack water. May cause diabetes, insanity, and a desire for tattoos. Okay, that explains that. Let's remove the lens hood. Also solid brass. I uh, lived in Russia for a number of years. Used to be a Russian translator. I forgot the city it's made in again. Yeah, Krasnogorsk, Russia. There we go. Took me uh, five minutes. Well, actually, it took me like three and a half actually to take this lens completely. But you shouldn't be taking the lens apart all the time. <laughs> I, I took it apart to clean it, but um, comes with the seven drop-in filters. Not filters, excuse me. <laughs> it's been very late, and I did not get any sleep last night. Okay, do not fault me for saying that. Okay. I'm used to actually drop in filters on some older lenses that I used to use, so every time I grab something I'm about to drop in the lens, I'm always thinking of drop in filters. Uh, drop in apertures, these are the actual apertures for the lens. Um, I grabbed one, this is the F16. This is very difficult, by the way, you know, it takes a lot of skill to do this. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> um, I was going to mention a couple things. Um, this really is a very interesting uh, meld of uh, old technology and new, but I mean, simplicity is divinity. I did make one mistake the other day. I said this was a three-element lens. Uh, the uh, front primary is a uh, is a uh, cemented uh, achromatic doublet, uh, so there are four lenses. Effectively, well, I mean, that's not exactly the case, but... Anyway, uh, the front two uh, the front uh, two elements are cemented, so it's four elements total. Very simple, very divine little lens. Um, swirly bokeh, a very fascinating effect, and uh, it's very photographically pleasing. And uh, a lot of uh, you know, they say that everything old is new again. People discover some fascinating. Uh, old methodologies to create uh, stuff that is uh, compositionally uh, exquisite and uh, pleasing. And this is an 85 millimeter f2.2 uh, uh, correction on the prior day where I said three elements, it's actually four. But I did mention during then that I thought that the front two elements might have uh, been uh, cemented. Uh, so, balsam cemented. You can see some of the prior iterations of the uh, Pets of all stuff. Uh, made in Mother Russia. You can go over to Camera Quest. No, Camera Quest is not giving me anything. They're not giving me a dime. They're not giving me any free gear. So no one will ever find me guilty of uh, having, uh, you know, being a puppet for anybody, okay? So don't accuse me of that. You can go to CameraQuest.com if you're interested in the snagging of this very interesting lens. Um, even though it is solid brass and very heavy, Comparatively to uh, like uh, my Zeiss lenses, it's it's really ultimately not that heavy, and you're thinking, well, what about focusing? Well, yeah, there is an odd that sticks out on the side. Um, it, it, this is also that entire assembly is solid brass, by the way. But you're talking about an actual throw from infinity to closest that is basically nothing. So, um, focusing this lens is divinely simple. Um, now, just like, uh, you know, a $2,000 uh, Zeiss, Carl Zeiss lens, when you actually uh, focus a lens, uh, the easiest way, actually, is to set a known focus of where you and your subject are and actually have it on your camera, and once you focus it here, just let it alone, and then 
you yourself bob and weave in until you get to your uh, subject in focus. That's actually the fastest way to do it. Um, that's not only for macro, but for standard lenses like my Carl Zeiss uh, 28mm, 35 or 105 etc. etc. Um, so there it is. Um, there are very few things that I could actually say that are uh, very fascinating. The effects from this lens are fascinating. Um, but it's uh, extremely simple, and uh, I love simple things. Um, I was about to say something I probably shouldn't say. I say solid brass, you could actually use it as a weapon, but <laughs> that's not something I should say, so forget that I was actually thinking that, even though I said it anyway. Um, but the bokeh effects and, uh, you know, the actual image that's produced, it actually, a lot of things have disconnected us from the old time. People are like, well, I want technology, everything, but it disconnects you from actually uh, thinking about the composition and about what you're actually doing and... Uh, including manually focusing lenses and uh, shooting in shutter priority, aperture priority, or all manual mode. You know, this is one other step um, that actually is, you know, where manual labor, you know you're actually producing the image instead of, you know, just turning off your brain, click, and pointing at something and pressing the shutter release. Um, actually get you involved in the composition. And it's just like paying someone to build your house, um, and then you're sitting back and, you know, sipping coffee while... You watch a bunch of people sweat really hard to build your house instead of you getting your hands dirty and doing it yourself. In the end, if you do it yourself, you appreciate it a lot more. And a lot of that fun, you know, the fun can be exasperating at times, especially when you're shooting all day. You know, you get tired of manually focusing lens, no matter how skilled you are at it. Um, nevertheless, it's the case. You take more pride and happiness and pleasure in knowing that you've done the job and actually stuck your hands into the creation of the photograph. I mean, no one... You know, if someone created uh, an instant machine that, uh, you know, uh, painted uh, oil paintings, I mean, no one would be impressed by it. And uh, you know, the same is true of photography. Even though it's an art form that's captured uh, currently, not on film anymore, although plenty of people still shoot film. I've shot enough to last many lifetimes, and I won't do it again except for 4x5 work, or maybe 6x7. Um, you need to get your hands in there and uh, actually make the artwork and this is just another one of those stepping stones that actually brings a you know like a fascinating pleasure to you know shooting simplicity uh, you know you could have the advanced DSLR and uh, you know the simplicity of drop in a compact flash or SD card but you got to get your hands into the actual work itself and it brings pleasure and it's actually fun and you're able to experiment more and uh, you know, I shoot in 20 years of that vibration control, and you don't need it either. I mean, you need to start manually focusing some lenses, or at least start to. I mean, all the Carl Zeiss lenses are manual focused, and so are the Voigtlanders, and so is this. And this one's really easy to manual focus, because here's infinity, and there's closest. So, that's pretty easy. Um, I know I'm guilty of repeating myself too much sometimes, so if you're interested, take a peek over at CameraQuest.com. No, I'm not sponsored or paid by them or anything. No free gear, nothing. I'm not, never going to be guilty of that, ever. I just thought I'd show you this, and it's really got no exposure at all on YouTube. I mean, there is a Flickr page dedicated to this lens. I took a picture of my mother a, uh, a couple days ago with this lens, and uh, she liked the results. So the swirly bokeh, you got to say that uh, really fast, swirly bokeh. <laughs> is a very pleasing and a very fascinating effect. It brings a really unique and fresh, everything old is new again, a new, unique, fresh air to uh, shooting uh, photography. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Okay, bye.